Um, but at Falkirk, um, just being oh, oh, just been knocking the phone, the device over. That's okay. We're in a car park. Panic. Fitted it properly. Ah! Blah, 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 blah. Come on, don't be a dickhead. And this works really good if you do it properly. You know, it does and it'll stay there. And you can, like drive it, brake hard and everything. If you've got it on properly, and the heat actually helps as well. I mean, it is a high tech device. Um, high tech. So that's secret. You know? Secret. Is it a secret? Um, Type of thing, so I can't really tell it what it is. Um, one thing you've got to do is don't put, um, don't put, uh, oh shit, don't do that either. Don't put blue tack in the microphone. <laughs> Where's this car going? I let on a driver, I'm going to cause havoc while I let on a driver. I mean, you could go that way. Equally, you could go this way. It's difficult turning right out. This is planning ahead we're talking here. You could go down here and turn right, but <laughs> I'd like to see you getting out. <laughs> it's no easy. So what we'll do, we'll probably turn left here down the roundabout, come back around, but you never know, there might be a gap in the traffic that we can utilise. Uh, that'll test the phone, not in 62 seconds. We'll open the window, because it's easier to see out of them when they're open. Fuddles! Fuddles! Ah, fuck you, no chance! Ah. You've got no chance of getting round there. <laughs> well, you know, I think you might actually. Uh, I'm going to get after this car. Yep. It's raining! It's definitely raining. I've done this roundabout down here already. I had a week about down there. I'm actually heading for coffee with my friends. Um, probably I'll go for a walk for lunch. Well, you probably won't want to go because it's raining, but me, I would, I would go in this. I mean, you've got, a, you've got a body, use it. You know? Use your body. Don't, you? don't not use it. I mean, it's imperative that you use your body, or even rain, go get, get wet, enjoy, enjoy the elements, you know. Um, could have went that way, to the left, but I'll just go this way. This Grange Road up here, a lovely Grange Road, what a fantastic place actually. You know, I always dreamt one day that I could live here. And you know what? I just haven't reached that pinnacle um, of living in Grangeway. I just haven't quite made it. So I just have to make do with Sterling for now. Until I can afford to move to Grangeway. Well, a lot of puddles a day. My friend asked me this morning. Are women better drivers than men? Now, that was a very good question. So I says, well, I says, well, I think men have better eyesight than women. And, oh, do they? I says, well, yeah, because women, women are supposed to look up a lot. Historically, in the last few thousand years, I mean, they have better peripheral vision. Men have better vision. However, so you've got personality traits. 
Yeah. And I'm talking about average receiver. I'm not talking about... I know you've got one specific person that you know, Bobby. I'm talking about averages. So, men are more aggressive than women, generally, I'd say. So we're talking personality traits. So if you look at personality traits, men or women, which ones... So women are more agreeable, uh, they're more neurotic, they're more likely to like panic or worry about stuff, they're more careful, so men are more dangerous. So I think the whole thing should really balance itself out, that men and women are fully really the same in terms of driving. You know, so the agreeable nature of women means that they're more, less likely to be aggressive, fall out with people, give people fingers, have road rage. Obviously, you're going to get the odd women that will do these things, but uh, so I'd say technically, so there are statistics to back this up. So, for example, you could get statistics from insurance companies, you could get statistics about driving tests. So, men, males are more likely to pass their driving test, they're more likely to. Alright, first time I'm in, probably more likely to pass it, period. Uh, more likely to have accidents is a problem to have than women. You, know, you, you, you think, like, you look at truck driving, for instance. I read somewhere that, I mean, where do they get statistics from? Just, Males are more likely to have accidents as truck drivers. Well, truck drivers are more likely to be male. And you go, oh no, I've got a female friend that drives truck. Like, do you really want to piss and do shit in a lay-by? Because that's, it's not, that life is not as brilliant as what it sounds. You know, you get minimum wage, driving around, getting stuck in traffic, delivering shit, long hours, away from home. You know, it's like, it's not all, I mean, you know, yeah, there might be some better companies. That you can work with. Uh, I'm rambling here. What am I talking about? Are men safer? So, I think this insurance probably statistics would, would show that men make more, have more claims, insurance claims against them. And I, I'm saying all these things. I don't have the statistics at hand. Obviously, any argument or discussion we have with anyone, but nobody ever has. But what, what I find the problem with a lot of people is come up with some sort of assertion about something and they haven't they're only picking one element or something like stop just stop oil is a great example all they're talking about is pollution and, or, or in the atmosphere they're not looking at the good side of oil which oil provides everything it provides ambulances it provides hospitals it provides sanitation it provides oil oil does everything everything if it's say just stop oil it's such a stupid and reckless thing to say it's like and you just they haven't thought or they don't or it's dumb the movie's just thick or, or they just sort of and, and I think I can identify with that when I was younger I might have done something like that and you just focus on one aspect of something and it's I think things have definitely got worse for young people and the radicals at universities I mean I've been to university so I can talk about this and it was full of feminists. I mean, they were crazy and some of the shit that come away with. That was like five years ago. And I would say it'd be pretty difficult for men to operate. The men that were there were acting like fannies. You know, they, they weren't men. They were like feminized men. And that's half of some cheek up <laughs> I mean, I went through it. If anybody wants to ask me about all that stuff, I'll tell them about it. The transgender stuff. I'm a bit wary of YouTube, I don't want to get banned. I think you'd have to be awfully careful when you spoke about that. Because there'll be a prescribed woke narrative that you're allowed to follow. And if you don't follow that, this is a zany little red right here. This one coming up. Uh, you know, I've got a couple of things done this morning. Well, three, three things. Uh, I usually, so I need to get to Aloha at some point. 
I might do that tomorrow. When the week is sort of vanishing quickly, you know. So basically, I, I kind of do most of my stuff for the weekend. And it's, you know, it's going to slow down here. I'm sure it's going to be coming out of that. I mean, it, it is around about it. It looks quite pathetic, but, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty bad as I went back. I think that's what it's done. So I'm sort of suffering from anxiety. I've got this, this thing, like sometimes I don't forget things very quickly, it's a real problem. And I get bothered if I know that I'm somehow in the wrong with things. I often kind of think, ah, I've got a guilt thing. Um, I do tend to overreact to certain situations at, at times. Um, that can be unreasonable. Uh, certainly, yeah. The walk in the dark in the rain with a yellow coat. Ticket. kind of like near a motorway, from, well it's always been near Kincardine Bridge, so it's always been, you know, in a, near main roads sort of thing. Anyway, the car developed a fault yesterday, I changed the module for the air demister, and it worked perfectly. And then ever since I did that, like, it was all day, all yesterday, it was coming up with a beeping noise saying that the screen wash is faulty and that the dip beam is faulty. And I got out of the car, looked at the dip beam, it's all working. Oh, well, that's funny, it seems to be working. And then it was just weird how that fault happened after I changed the ignition module. Modern cars and computers. So I um, we driving around it today. There's no day there, so the screen watch is faulty because it, it goes off when it's not supposed to. Although it's not doing it that much lately. I mean, this car is French, remember? So it's got these faults built into it. French faults. You're probably never going to fix them. I had a Peugeot 206 GT and it had like a dodgy airbag. Light and it was like, how do you fix that? I think any any fault can be fixed, but it depends. You've got to find somebody or, or do it yourself. If you're like, are you willing to pay somebody to spend like hours messing about with a car? You know? Well, the fact of the matter is, most people don't want to pay so much for that. Thanks for watching. Catch you all later. I'm going for a walk in that field.
Bye for now.